Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we will learn how to install Python and PyCharm on Windows 11 and run a demo program. So let's start. So first we will go to Chrome, search here for Python download. Go to this first link. Now here you can see that the latest version of Python is 3.14.0. And it is available for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Android, and other. So I'll click on this Python 3.14.0 and it will start downloading Python. So it is downloaded. So I'll go to the show and folder. Now I'll right click on this and open it. So here, check this admin privileges and add Python exe to path. Now go to customize installation. So it will install pip as well. Pip is package manager which helps in installing certain python packages it will also install ideally and all these other things now click next now here select install python for all users for the rest leave it as it is here you can change the python installation directory but i will leave it as it is and click on this install click yes and it will start installing python so it will take some time so we will wait So now the installation is complete, setup was successful. So I'll close this, I'll close this as well. And now I'll here search for PyCharm download. Hit enter, go to this first link, jetbrains.com. So now you can see here the download buttons up here and down here. So you can download it from both of these buttons. So I'll click on this download exe and you can see that it has started downloading PyCharm. So the download will take some time, so we will wait. So now our PyCharm is downloaded, so I'll go to the show in folder. I'll right click on this, open it. Click yes here, click next. It will install PyCharm on this path. It requires this space, so click next. Create desktop shortcut for PyCharm. Check this and click next, next and install. And it will take some time in installation. So now the installation is complete. So I'll finish this. I'll close this. Close this as well. And now you can see PyCharm icon here. So I'll right click on this and open this. So now you can see PyCharm. It is launching here. Check this I confirm that I have read and accept the terms and click continue. Allow keep imports. And now you can see PyCharm here and you can create projects here. From here you can customize PyCharm. You can change the theme. I like the dark theme, so I'll go to projects and create a new project. So now you can see here that it has automatically detected Python 3.14, which we have installed. Now here I will give my Python project name, so I'll name this demo your J and click create to create the project. So now you can see here that the project is created. So if I expand this, so we have to create a new Python file here. So I'll right click on this new python file and i'll name this demo and hit enter and it will create us this demo.py file now here i will write as some program so i'll use a equals 7 b equals 9 and c equals a plus b and now i'll print c and now i'll right click on this file and run demo and you can see here that it has printed 16 here in the output. So in this way you can install the latest version of Python, PyCharm and can run Python programs inside it. So I think that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.